cut right up here. Hmm. Oh, look at this one, all wrapped up. All wrapped up. All right, tried something different on this one. My high mask off the door jams. Get some ground tape and stuff, I don't like it. I didn't like how it left them. So I soft masked this back. Did a video showing you how. Just show you right here, you can see soft lip. Got one coat of clear on them. Some coats of base, one coat of clear. I'm gonna put another coat of clear on them. These door jams. Now I'll peel the tape, we're gonna squirt a little bit of reducer around the edge. Just to blend the seam in. Burn her in. Okay. Okay, we got her all wrapped up here. What a shame, huh? To wrap this big pig up. Take all this material just for that. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Everything had to be wrapped except the jams. So that's what we did. We wrapped it all. So, okay. I'll get another coat of clear off shot of this, bring you back. All right, got her all done here. That's what I'm saying. You pull this tape off, see? Let's see right here. Let's see if I can pick it up. All I have to do with this is hit that with the buffer a little bit. And there's no blend line. You don't want to spray a whole lot. Oh boy. A whole lot of reducer on it. Just enough to burn that little bit over spray in on that soft edge line. Just enough for that. Minimize it your cleanup. Tape it in a way that you can peel that off. Peel your first mask edge off. Keep all the extra paper on. Say we run up the buffer over that edge now, it'll blend in very nicely. See how that soft edge works. No overspray line. That's how you cut in all the time, but if you got a place you have to put on in it, you uh you know, but you can't uh you can't cut it in any other way. It's out in the middle of a panel. You don't want to paint the whole panel. I'm taking this paper off down here. So I don't a tape edge line to be melted in or anything. So there you have it. That's how you do it. No overspray lines. Make sure easy repair, easy fix. Now the door jams look real nice. I had an edge line right in here that I didn't like, and of course it had sealer on it. That was underneath the uh, blue base in the clear, so when you tried to scuff sand that edge in, all you did was cut into the sealer and lift the line, couldn't have that. So we redid the jams. Gotta make them right. All right, bring it back to when uh, get the sailing covered. I've talked about my shot being insulated before, how well that works, um, helps in the summertime too. It's probably, I just looked about 20 minutes ago, it was in the upper 80s already here. At, uh, well, let's see, we're at about 10, 10.25, 10.30. Upper 80s are already, it's been real hot here recently, a lot of humidity. Uh, the sand of real feel right now is 95 degrees outside. So it's gonna be about 107 real feel today with the humidity we're having. Get in my shop. About 76. Humidity, of course, just over 90%. We don't like that, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, temperature is cooler than this morning in here. I've got this window open drawing air through the filter from my other side of the shop for the cross flow in here. I've also got this other window open right here. The fan pulls more than a small window can, uh, behind me can handle, so I cracked this window open and it just draws near to the fan. I need to reset the fan down slower. Maybe someday, huh? I've only been using that fan for 25 years, but okay. So, insulate your shops, guys. It helps out. I always try to get in and do any paint work in this kind of weather in the mornings. Sometimes come out at, you know, midnight, one o'clock in the morning, and spray then if I have to. Get up the humidity. Maybe I'll air condition it someday, right? 
All right, just wanted to mention that. All right. We're in the 70s here today. Not better than what it was. It's still pretty humid. I just wanted to go over this and show everyone this. You can see here. I can lace. You can see. <coughs> it's all nice and clear. See my reflection back there. Side of the quarter panel here, just behind the door jam. Now this is where I painted in here. This has not been sanded and buffed in here. I lay this down nice and wet, so it flows out real nice. Well, you need no sanding and buffing. That gets you by on these areas real nice. But right here, my finger. But here's where I soft edge taped it. You know, showed you off of the quarter panel out to here. Soft edge out past this edge right here. This has not been sanded. Focus there. You can see there is no overspray. We had a little bit up here, drifted in a little bit. We did not sand up here, we just buffed it. That's what I did on this edge right here. I moved the paper back out of the way, buffed this edge. And I told you I did put a mist of reducer on this, and that reducer uh, melts in any overspray. Some people say you can't do that with urethane like we used to with the enamels. Well, I beg to differ. Just don't put too much on. You watch what you're doing with it and put on just enough to, uh, to melt in your overspray. And then just to clean it above. And what did I buff it with? Right here. A little cheap, cheap. Yes, I don't know if this was a Harbor Freight Center or Mag, so it probably was. These are a little bit better pads than what they come with. Small pad, three inch, yeah, I think it's a three inch pad on that. And of course the old standby, the old 3M. Finescent machine polish, 5928, my favorite. It used to come in a clear bottle, now it comes in a black bottle. But it's the white polish. Um, I have these places right here. These are sanded with 2000. That's all I'm going to sand them with, 2000. It's a dark car, might as well be black. I've already buffed on the other side. I'll show you what the results are for that, and then I'll bring you back and show you this side too. We had several places. Back in the light, this area right here, this uh, square area right here was completely sanded with a 2000. There are several spots across right here. And we had dirt nibs that we took out. Same way with this piece right here, on this whole corner of a sand, and various spots up the post right here. I'll try to get where the light <coughs> comes across it so you can see. There's no sand marks, there's no halos. It's beautiful. And that is all just with that one little wall pad on the three inch. That's no foam, that's no other compound, that's the white 3M, and that's your results. I run this thing, fast to run. Fast to run. High speed. I don't tape any edges. I've done a song enough that I don't burn edges. I'm not saying I can't. Now that I've said that, I probably will here, but it can happen. <clears throat> it's always a good idea if you're not so sure. Don't want to risk it. Tape all the edges so you don't have that issue, but I'll bring you back when I get this one all buffed in and show you what it looks like.